Hey everyone, this is Rishabh. Uh, I contribute in building the Hypertrace platform. I hope you guys can see my screen. <clears throat> so yeah, I will. Yep. I will be talk. I will be talking about uh, the optimizations that has gone into various aspects of our ingestion pipeline. But specifically, I'll focus on uh, the work done in raw spans grouper. <clears throat> so uh, this is one. This is the second uh, service in our ingestion pipeline. And the main task of this service is to stitch together the spans to build a trace. Rest of our pipeline then works with a trace. <clears throat> so uh, the strategy that it uses to build the, uh, build the trace from the spans is to wait for a fixed duration uh, on the inactiveness of the uh, given trace and then stitch together the spans that were received in a given interval to build a trace. So we were observing that uh, if, if the trace had more than 50 spans, right, say close to 100, 200, 300, or a larger number, we were seeing a huge C CPU throttling in this service. So, so first of all, I would briefly talk about you know, the design of this service, what it does. So it receives, uh, this is a Kafka stream space service. If you're not familiar, Kafka streams is a uh, framework uh, library, uh, basically, uh, which provides a lot of capabilities like state management, topology management on top of Kafka. So this is a Kafka stream service. This, this service receives spans and then it appends these spans in a store. So we have this concept of different type of stores that Kafka streams provides. And those are uh, typically built on top of uh, RocksDB stores. So RocksDB is a popular key value uh, store. So whenever it receives a span, it, it puts it in a, in a store and every span that is received for a trace is then appended to the same uh, store for that given trace. So a trace is first fetched, then the span is updated in that trace, so sort of appended, and then that trace is written back into that store. And finally, we have the concept of this punctuator in a Kafka streams. So this, is, uh, this can be considered as a timer task job. Okay, which runs at some interval and checks if a trace is ready to be emitted or not. Fine. So uh, the main main uh, reasons for the CPU throttling and other uh, inefficiencies observed in this service were that uh, RocksDB is generally known to work better with smaller size records comparatively. Also, uh, another reason was that whenever we were receiving a trace. Uh, we were appending a span, the, the trace had to be pulled out from the store. So RocksDB, everything is stored in bytes, but in the application level, everything is objects. So there is a survey cost associated with uh, putting an object and receiving the, uh, on the get and put operations from the store. So that was leading to a quadratic time complexity, which was probably one of the main reasons for high CPU users. Also, as the trace grew in size, uh, we, uh, uh, we, we know that Kafka has a limited message size that it supports. So as the trace grew in size, uh, it could happen that you know consistently the store uh, the application is trying to write mes uh, trace messages, but it's exceeding the size. Uh, so so you could see uh, for a trace with say 200 messages, a lot of continuous exceptions happening, and that would just you know sort of choke the service. So the as an optimization, what we try to do is you know. Uh, design a store which where the span is written individually, right? It's not written at trace level. It's written individually, but the stitching is done and the punctuate time. So that was our first approach. So basically it's not much change, but, but this, the performance difference is somewhat like uh, uh, very close to what we were expecting. So to start with, we started storing spans in a window store. So window store is basically a time-based store. So you can specify a retention of say one hour, two hour or three hours. And then the data is stored for that amount of time. So the biggest problem we saw with this approach is that you know a large amount of state had to be maintained for uh, the application, which was, causing, which was proving to be a big overhead. And, and uh, so uh, managing this, this extra state was uh, difficult for us. So we moved on to another optimization on top of this. So by the way, we did some performance testing and realized that uh, on, on our internal and SaaS environments, and we saw that to clear a lag of 20 million spans, uh, this approach took like roughly five hours. 
the original approach took like the original which was there already took like more than 7 hours the approach that we finally went ahead with uh, was basically to put the store uh, was to replace the store instead of using a window store use a key value store and and you still store spans individually in the key value store but the onus of deleting the uh, span from the store lies on the application itself there it was being in the previous approach it was being managed by kafka streams now the onus is on the application itself and the seems to be see, seem to be working very fine uh, the we uh, observed a large um, reduction in the cpu user uh, the amount of spans that we were now able to store uh, for a trace was in the range of 200 uh, compared to 50 earlier so yeah so this is the approach we finally released our um, platform with so yeah i think that's all on my side uh, we could get obviously get into more details of this uh, and and the details are there in the captured in the ticket and, and the prs so feel free to reach out for any discussions and yeah